What is up everybody? This is Ronnie from Canva and welcome to another tutorial special CCC edition. Today my guest is Sandy, the famous Sandy Sevilla from the Philippines and Sandy is a successful CCC. She has been with us in our CCC since the beginning of the CCC. So she is the OG uh, and Sandy is going to tackle one of the main pain points that we have seen coming up again and again in the Canva community. So not going to reveal what it is. I'm going to let her say it. So Sandy, are you here? And what are we going to learn with you today? Hi, everyone. So yes, on this tutorial, I'll be walking you through and how you can create a perfectly optimized Facebook page banner for both mobile and desktop view. Sandy, I know you are involved in a lot of Canva communities, a lot of Facebook groups online. You yourself uh, are an admin for a couple of these groups. Can you tell us what is one of the major pain points for Canva users in terms of uh, creating graphics for social media? Well, I'm going to say one of the most common pain points of Canva users is finding the perfect Facebook page banner dimension. Because when they do the design on Canva, yeah, it's so pretty, it's so beautiful. But when they upload it into their Facebook page banner, the result is either the banner is way too small, way too big, the images are cut off, the texts are cut off, especially the important text, they are being cut off. It looks fine on desktop, but when they are on mobile, the text or the elements are being cut off which is kind of frustrating because nowadays people tend to use mobile and we want to make a first impression. So once people come into your Facebook page banner, we want to make sure that we are conveying the exact message that we want to pass to our audience by just looking on our Facebook page banner. I think you're completely right, Sandy. And I've seen posts coming up again and again in the communities. I would say on a weekly basis, we have users asking, what is the perfect dimension for Facebook covers? I cannot figure it out. I cannot get it right. It's either right on desktop or on mobile, but I never could figure out how to get them right on both. So uh, I would like to ask you, could you show us some of the Facebook banners that you have created for yourself or for your clients? Yes, sure. So I have here some of the FB banners that I've designed for my clients and for myself. And let me go through them one by one. So when creating a Facebook page banner, I make sure that they stay on brand with my client's branding. So you have to check first your client's branding guide and understand it so that you'll be able to convey the same exact message along with their branding. So for this one right here, um, I, followed, I followed her brand colors, which you can which is actually really clear on the background of her photo, which is a yellow one. And then this is the name of the page, Elevate Your Way to Freedom, and then her name. I added a bit of a highlight at the back of her name to make sure that it's also it will stand out. For her background image, what I did is actually create a duplicate and for the duplicate part, I removed the background so I can overlay um, on top of the original background image, a white gradient to give it a fading effect and to make sure my texts are readable. And then here's her CTA right here. It's her call to action. So when they click on that, this is actually not clickable, but when you upload your banner onto Facebook and then you have this button right here when they click on that it will open the post and then you can just put in the link on the caption and then for the second one right here what i did different is that instead of using a gradient i used a shape right here so same pattern um, i duplicate the image so keeping the background and then for a duplicate one I remove the background then just overlay it to give uh, to give uh, to give some room for the shape and overlay it 
on top of the original background image. And then of course, um, here's the text right here, the name. This one is kind of different because this one um, is like an event cover, but she wanted to make sure that when people come into her page, um, the event they're able to see the details of the event right away. So she decided to use it as a Facebook page cover. So here's the name of the masterclass, um, some details on it, and the date. I made it a, a, a little bit bigger because, you know, for the hierarchy of the text. So if you are the audience, you'll read first the name of the master class and then it, you'll read the date, which is on Monday, March 23rd. And then it says free training. I put a back, I put a white block, color block at the back of the free training to give an emphasis to it and then register now. This one is very simple. Um, my client has a very minimal um, uh, branding guide, so just her image and then I added a white um, gradient again to give a white space for the text, which is just be your own best friend abroad and the, the subtext right here and the date of the campaign. Here is also a different cover. so. They don't want to add any photo of a person or they don't have any headshot because this is like a clinic. So they put in the logo instead and then the tagline and the link to their website as their CVA. This one is one of my favorite. This like it is also an event um, banner used as a Facebook page. So this is the name of the event, the name of my client and then highlighting the date the place and of course the link where, where they can sign in. This one is really clean, just re really simple. And then this one is my banner. For my banner, I decided to of course use my brand colors and then put in my headshot, my logo, and then my um, tagline. This is actually like a direct approach to tell people what exactly I do and then the Canva Certified Creative logo and my website for my CDA. Those looks very cool, Sandy. So thank you for opening up your business to us and showing us some of the work you've been working on for your clients. I hope this was not confidential. So Sandy, now that you're here with me today, would you accept to kind of take us on a tour behind the scenes and show us uh, in Canva how you create these perfect Facebook banners. Like what are the steps and how would you do it? Um, yeah, sure. Let me show you how it's done step by step. So the first thing that I do is to check with Facebook, their current Facebook page banner dimension because they change it from time to time as they change their interface. Also, Facebook graphics or banners have different size dimension according to how you use them. So for for example, for Facebook group cover, they have a different dimension from the Facebook page cover as well as for an event cover, they they are on different sizes. So you need to check first with Google what is the current um, dimension for a Facebook page banner. So let's check with Google uh, with Facebook first. So if you go to Facebook Help Center, it is stated there that your page cover photo displays 820 pixels wide by 312 pixels tall on your page on computers, which is the desktop, and 640 pixels wide by 360 pixels tall on smartphones, the mobile. So it's giving us two different sizes both for mobile and desktop. So what I do is I'm going to do the math to get that optimized dimension for both mobile and desktop view. So first I put in the numbers right here. So desktop again is 820 by 312 pixels. Mobile is 640 by 360. Now, every time you upload a graphic on Facebook, it kind of compresses the file to make sure that it loads up right away but it also loses the quality. So once you do it on Canva, I highly recommend to double the size first. So from 820 pixels to 312 on your desktop, it will now become 164, uh, 1640 by 624. And on your mobile, it will now become 1280 
by 7:20. But still, we but we still got two different sizes here. So what I did is to get the highest number of each um, side to make sure that I'm able to cover all uh, all of the sizes. So for for the width, the highest one that we have is the 1640. So I list it down here, 1640. And for the height, the highest one that we got is 720. Okay, so on your Canva, you can just go ahead and click create custom, um, custom size, and then just key in 1640 by 720. So I got it open right here, an editor open already in 1640 by 720. Okay, so, but since Facebook page ran her different sizes again, different views. Let's proceed on checking them out and putting them on Facebook. So I'm gonna pull up a rectangle and this one will be for my desktop view. I'm gonna change the transparency right here. Maybe just 20 or 30. Let me change it to black so you guys can clearly see. Okay, so for uh, for desktop, it says 1640 by 624, 1640. So if you do it like that, you can see the number, which is 1640 for the width, and then you'll just have to adjust the height to 624. So that's 612. 624 there that's already 624 oh sorry 1640 by 624 so this is your desktop view so again this one right here your workspace is 1640 by 720 is the whole image but i wanted to make a marking so you guys can see which part is a desktop view and which part is the one for mobile so i'm gonna pull up a diff another triangle so I'm just going to duplicate this and this time I'm going to follow the sizing for mobile, which is 1 to 80 by 720, 1 to 80 by 720. So 1 to 80 wide. Okay. That's way too big. 1 to 80. Okay, I can't seem to put it into 1 to 80, but I have 1 to 81, which is closest. So I'll just use that one in the meantime. And then it is. 720 pixels tall so there you go that's 720 then you put it on the center okay so this one right here this one this little box right here is your mobile view of course because it's smaller and this one right here is your desktop view now if you put them all the center it creates an inner rectangle this is your safe zone so if you wanted to make sure that your text, your images, your logo, CPAs won't cut off on any, uh, on any device, make sure all of them are inside this inner rectangle. Let me create rectangle right there. Okay, so this one is your safe zone. So this safe zone, they don't change. Even if you are on mobile or in desktop view, it is visible on both devices. So again, you need to put all of your important elements on this side right here. All right, so I made a, temp a template that you guys can follow. I can share this right after this tutorial. And then here are some covers that I made following this um, this dimension. So I used my Facebook um, page cover, and this is how it looks like on mobile view. See, this is the safe zone. Let me just bring it up. So there. So if you are on mobile, it it is still there. My headshot, my logo, everything is clearly visible. And if you're in desktop view. It's still the same text and images don't cut off, but of course it is focused on the safe view, which is this one. 
All right, so I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and you can, you don't have to put everything just on the center. You can do a variation as long as they are inside the safe zone. For example, this one. So let me just copy again that safe zone, <laughs> safe zone box. Okay, see right there. So this part right here won't cut off in any device view. Same as this one there. So the CTAs, the text, they don't get cut off. This one as well. Okay, so you can do a variation. Just again, make sure that all of the important text, logos and everything goes inside this safe zone right here. Okay, so I'm, I will try to do a different cover for my page. So I'm gonna use the same one. Okay. Let me just bring up my headshot. Okay, here. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna crop it. Okay, change this to my brand color. Okay, but I want to remove the cover. So, <laughs> since I'm a Canva Pro, I'm able to remove background easily. So, there you go. Now, let me add some colors to it, or probably another background image. So, I think I'm just gonna use. Okay, and I think I'm gonna use this and change the color to my brand color. Then adjust it. Here one second. Let me just okay like that. And then put it at the back. Okay. Put it right there. Just gonna copy my text. <laughs> so I'm gonna create like a bottom like um, element right here. Change it to my website link. That's it. Just make sure that they are properly aligned and centered. And there you go. Okay, now we we'll need to check and make sure that they are on the safe zone so i'm gonna copy this safe zone box right here that we came up with so you can just control c and then control v it it, it will be copied in the exact place where the original one is so yes we are on the safe zone but let me just highlight how it will look like on the desktop view so going back right here i'm gonna copy this desktop view right here this one i'm gonna copy this Control c then go back down Control v so this is how it will look like on desktop i'm gonna delete that and then copy the desktop view right here this one this guy right here I'm gonna copy it and place it here and that is how it will look like on my mobile okay now on the downloading part um, the best thing to do is to download this as a PNG file so JPEG usually works well if it's just a photo but for graphics the best way to go is the PNG file which gives you a higher resolution instead of the JPEG I think um, PNG files with Canva has 95 or 96 um, DPI resolution. So yes, download it as a PNG file. Thank you so much, Sandy. This was amazing. I really love the way you create this safe zone. I actually never thought about this, never did that myself. I was always like, uh, try and error and see if it would fit on both mobile and desktop. But you have a very like, uh, functioning system to create these uh, Facebook banners. So Sandy, could you let us know where can people learn more about you? Like if they want to work with you or follow you, follow your tutorials, where can they find you? 
Um, yes, you can follow me on my Facebook page and Instagram, which is XYND Solutions. That's where I post um, my most recent Canva projects and tutorials. You can also check the services I offered on my website, which is sandysolutions.com. Thanks. Again, I'm sure our users and our viewers will appreciate your tutorial. They will show you some love in the comments. So guys, just rush out there and show some appreciation for Sandy for showing you these tricks and for helping you create the perfect Facebook banners. So of course, we also would like to see your Facebook banners. So please get in there, create a Facebook banner and show it to us. We, we would love to see that in the comments. And that's it for me today, guys. This was your show. Don't forget to go check out Sandy's social media channels, Instagram, Facebook page, and her website. If you need some graphics done, she's your girl. So that is it for this week. Thank you, Sandy Sevilla. And I am Ronnie from Canva. I will see you in the next video.